Toronto with the win today. The weather forecast 78. It's perfect but smoky due to all the forest fires in Northern California. So there is smoke throughout the valley. UNLV trails the series 14 to 10. Nevada Reno has won 10 of the last 12. UNLV's last win in the series was 1994 in Las Vegas. They haven't won here since 1979. Ray the Chitani Rebels will kick it. Ray Chitani set to get this underway. Johnny Holmes and Adrian Dugas back to receive for UNR. And the and battle for the cannon ball. is underway. And the kick is out of the end zone. And UNR will start from the 20. And we'll get an early look. Kind of sitting back on their haunches a little bit too much. Watch the right side of your screen. A little stunt right there that you could see. Confused UNLV's O-line just enough to let big number 90, uh, Horatio Leva, come in for the big sack. Ray Chitani in to kick it. Trevor Inslee standing on his 28-yard line to receive it. And Chitani gets all of this one. Inslee back to the 18-yard line. Slides past a few and gets hit close to the 29. After their best defensive stand of the first quarter, Paul Jolly on the wrap-up. The UNLV is Chitani will have to kick it again. Again, another one of those plays where Jason Vaughn comes off of his primary receiver too quickly. You know, Jason needs to get back into the pocket and be aggressive. He needs to, to feel like he's Nolan Ryan back there. Sit back in the pocket and throw fastballs. You got to have a little confidence that your offensive line can hold him out for a couple of seconds, and you got to stay on that primary receiver a little longer. Chitani unloads another beauty. Inslee awaits on his 27-yard line. B.J. Edwards there first, can't get him, and Inslee's around the corner and out of bounds, close to the 40, maybe the 41. Another good field position opportunity for the Wolfpack. A 54-yard punt by Chitani. So Ray is doing his part. The Wolfpack leads 7 to nothing. We're back with more in a moment, live on Channel 8. In 10 years, but the ones that are here are vocal. Chitani has had two good punts, and he kicks another. Inslee picks it up at the 36 with room to run. Tyler Bacal misses. Inslee to the 50. He fumbles the football. Comes back on to punt it away again. I think John Robinson said there, hey, listen, this is an obvious passing down. Let's try to pitch it out and see if Jeremy Rudolph can do something with it. And if he can, that's Chitani's doing a great job of punting. Punt that darn thing as far as you can, and let's try to make a stand and just go into the locker room 20 down. Another good snap, Chitani launches this one high, and Inslee goes back to the 12-yard line. Mason's there for seven yards shy of the first down. And that'll bring up fourth down and a punting situation for Ray Chitani and the Rebels. Let me tell you what, one of the bright spots for UNLV this game has been Ray Chitani. He had five punts in the first half for a 49.2-yard average. You know, if Ray has a bad day, UNLV really could be in a bind today, but really just a, a nice job. Puts pressure on him, makes him make a decision quicker than he wanted to. He had to throw the ball away, and then Al Rich was right out there to make sure that it wasn't caught. Ray Chitani, the nation's second leading punter. 47 and a half yards a kick, standing deep as John Jennings. Low spiral, Jennings at the 28. Jennings gets a block and he slides down at the 30th. 47-yard punt, about a nine-yard Welcome back to Larry May, Wyoming. Glad you're watching wherever you are. Hankins slips and he gets to the 22. So it looks like Wyoming will get at least one more possession before halftime as UNLV will have to kick it away. So a disappointing series there for John Robinson's UNLV Rebels. Well, I think what happened is
again, the Wyoming defense got to speak something right. They they look good. They were they were coming hard on the quarterback. Defensive backs were staying to their assignments. Just a good overall uh, overall job that on that series. Rachel Jennings first punt, 49 yards. This is another good one. Backpedaling is Jennings. Cuts by a man and Jennings takes it back near the 30 yard line. So the Wyoming Cowboys will have the ball when we return. 335 until halftime. Cowboys trailing the Rebels 21 to 6. Good strategy there by UNLV. Run the clock down. Now they'll punt it out of their own end zone. And it helps to have one of the great punters in the nation. And as John Robinson's uh, kicker Ray Chitani drops deep. John Jennings standing at his 31. Chitani, you just want to get this one off quickly. Jennings is deep. High and short, angling right side. Jennings may have lost it in the sun for a moment. He picks it on a bounce. Jennings breaks a tackle, and he gets it out near midfield. A 51-yard punt for Chitani with the fortunate roll and the return by Jennings. It's a big challenge for him and his staff, and it's it's something that will bring motivation out in a coach and want him to get back in the dang, daggum game. Wyoming unable to score a touchdown in the first half, and that has to rankle head coach Dana Dimmel. Here we go. Kicking off deep, Chatani, and in the end zone. Deciding not to bring it out. I would think so, Chris. Uh, right there with perfect example, I think maybe Wyoming's defensive line has found a way to, to exploit the young offensive line from UNLV right there. They get by him, and in order to save the quarterback, he's going to hold. We're going to see it right here on the outside. So the Rebels will be forced to kick it away. Rachel Tanning's had a big day punting. Over 50 yards a kick. And there's another boomer. Jennings backpedaling, backpedaling at the 10. Up the middle he comes and he gets to the 23 yard line. Number 97, Jason Dreesen. The senior from Fort Morgan, Colorado, a loss of seven. This is a nice play by Jason Dreesen filling in for the injured Jeff Boyle at nose guard. Vaughn drops back to pass. He steps up in the pocket. And Dreesen comes right in to make the sack. Nice play. Jeff Boyle gone for the year. Pat Hirsch, another valued defensive lineman, gone for the year. A while. Oh, it's a fake. And it's a pass. And it's complete. At the 40, and UNLV caught Wyoming napping. Corey Hankins making the reception. And a nice little pass from Ray Chitani to Corey Hankins. 23 yards. Well, they just totally caught Wyoming off guard right here. They were in a, they were in to block that kick. Hankins slips outside. The punter pulls it down, drops it to him. Easy first down. A tremendous call here to Teddy. He's got him so wide open, he just kind of shot puts it. Prior to the snap, ball start, offense remains first down. Ray Chitani feeling good about his completion, a 24-yard completion. He said, hey, if Vaughn stumbles a little, get me back there. I can, <laughs> I can wing it. Yeah, I don't know the way he threw that one, but I tell you, in his defense, they didn't bring him here. They bring, brought him here to kick those 40, 50-yard punches, which is what he's doing today. Now Rich making the tackle, so the protection is starting to break down a bit for Jason Vaughn. He does not have the time that he had earlier in the first half. Not in the first half. He had all day. He could sit back there and eat lunch and throw the ball. He's not getting that right now. Wyoming's defense, I, you know, I'm sure they have a lot of pride and they don't like the fact that they were dominated in the first half and they want to come back in the second half and prove that they could stop him. On to punish Chitani. Trying to angle it for the right sideline. And it's going to be down at the five. So another good punt for Ray Chitani. Chitani doing it all today. I want to give a special mention to the special teams coach for UNLV. That is Jeff Karen. 
you never know who thought up a play in a situation like that but Jeff Karen most likely the man that designed the pass play yeah but you know you want to know who called it <laughs> John Robinson <Maybe. laughs>